In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a MIDI triggered sample track using the software plugin called Structure Free in Pro Tools. Structure Free just lets us take sounds and play them back, ones it already has, but it also lets us take things from the internet or other, other areas where we can get sound from and assign them to a MIDI keyboard and then play those sounds back. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do it. First, we're going to need to create some sounds. So we're going to go over to um, YouTube here, and I found some sound that I like. Really short, sweet sound. Toaster shooting out bread. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'm going to go to the top here and copy that file, copy that URL. Now I'm going to go over to this place. I'm going to refresh it real quick. I've already been here. YouTube to mp3.com, and I'm going to go and paste in my URL. If I hit convert, converts everything into an mp3 for me and I hit download. Here's my mp3, show and finder. Well, I got two of them. Go ahead and delete one of them I don't need. Okay, now I'm going to take this file and I'm going to um, bring it into Pro Tools. So I'm going to jump over to Pro Tools. There's several ways you can do this. If you see the clips open like this, you can just drag the file from the finder into the clips area. I'm going to go ahead and clear that. If you don't see this, don't know how to show this, don't worry. Just go over to File and Import Audio. From here, I go to my desktop. I find this toaster sound effect. It's right over here, and I say Convert. This will bring it into Pro Tools and convert it to the format you want. I prefer this method really because it makes a, a specific folder for us to store all the stuff. So hit done, asks me where I want to store it, and it already creates this location in my session folder, audio files. That's what I want. I hit open, it's really not going to open, it's just going to save the file there. Now it asks me, do I want to put it in a new track or the clip list? There we go. Now it's over here. Now I'm going to create some tracks. I want to create one track that's just uh, an audio track, because I'm going to edit some stuff there later. And I want to create another track that is a software instrument track. And that's because I'm going to use this software instrument track to add the structure free plugin. So I hit create. Now I have both of this. I'm going to go ahead and double click there and name this structure free. Oops. Struck. Sure. Or you could say sampler. Maybe that's better sampler okay and over here I have uh, my audio track I don't see what I need here I need to see some more stuff so I'm gonna here I go to view and uh, edit window is what I'm looking at I want to see the inserts that's where I need to stick something in there I'm gonna go to sampler and go to instrument and structure free where is it you probably see it in our waiting why doesn't he see it? There it is. Structure free. Cool. I have this. I'm going to right click or control click on what it already has there, this patch, and say remove current patch. I don't need what's in there. I want to add my own. Now I'm going to go over to clips here and I'm going to right click on it so I can see where my audio file is. And here it is, Toaster LR. I'm actually going to select both of those and then click and drag it right into here, structure free. Now, if I click on the track here and it's recorded enabled, it plays back the sound of the file. And I can play it in a, a, with a MIDI keyboard as well. Yay, okay. So there's the basic way to, to create um, a structure patch in here. And let's go ahead and, and look at the Pro Tools file too. If I go back over here to my um, uh, Pro Tools folder, here I am on the desktop and check this out. Here's my Pro Tools folder. If I open it up, I have all kinds of stuff in here. One of the things I have is an audio folder and it has these files in there. 
So cool, got all my stuff. That's the basic way to make a sampling track. You may have a more complicated thing too. For instance, I'm going to go over here to YouTube. Again, well, that's not YouTube. YouTube. And I want to get some cat meowing. Specifically, I wanted it at 3 minutes and 31 seconds. This kind of long file where this cat's meowing at this particular point. Meow. Meow. Right there. So I want that. I'm going to click on it. Copy that. Go over to here again. Paste it in. Convert the video. I think I hit that. Oh, there it is. Okay, now hit download. It's going to take a little bit longer here. Cool. Go show it in the finder. There it is as usual. In this case, I'm just going to take it, drag it into my clips in Pro Tools. So now it says Bengal Cat, yada yada, up there at the top. Okay, I'm actually going to take this one though now and I'm going to drag it into this audio. I want it to be bigger too. So I'm going to click right here and uh, drag down to make the file bigger to see. I don't see much. If I scroll to the right though, I might, oh, there it is. Okay, so it's a big long file. Um, I'm going to hit this and hit this thing here. Had my waveform way zoomed in for some reason. I don't need that. Eh, that's good. This doesn't change the sound level, just changes how large this is. Okay. And now I'm going to do a little bit of editing. Um, first of all, I just want to go into this area and see if I can find that cat meow. Remember, uh, when we were there, it was at 331. So let's see if we can find that in Pro Tools. I need to go to my rulers and go to minutes and seconds. Okay. And find uh, 331 there. So let's hope this is it. That's it, perfect. Okay, so I want this area right here. Let's zoom in just a bit. Okay, perfect. Um, now I want to be exact where I click to. Um, so I'm going to click on this little thing right here. Tab to transients. And uh, hit tab a couple times. Oops, I have it some some um, setting that I don't want it on, on grid setting. So let's take it off of that, put it in slip mode here. Hit tab, and it goes right to the beginning. And I'm going to hold down shift tab, tab to the end. I don't need this last part actually. So let's do that. That's good. Now I'm going to hit edit and I want to just trim this thing. So separate clip at selection. I don't need the rest of this so I'm going to click over here, bottom part with the hand tool, boom, get rid of it, click here, get rid of it. Now I just have this and control click here. Just fine. I'm just going to go to right to the end of it though, the top with this multi-tool selected, turn it into the fade tool drag a little bit over here so it's has a fade out and doesn't uh, go abruptly. And now if I hit it, starts right away. Cool, it's what I want. Okay, everything's done with this as much as I want, but now I need to use this specific file, not my super long file. Let's uh, create another sampler track actually. I'm gonna go to file, sorry, track, new, and go stereo, and instrument track, create that here, go um, meow, and in, well, something else, add myself another structure free track here, and usual delete this patch, right clicking to do that. Okay, now I'm going to go over to here and notice that when I'm clicking on here, it's not just any old file selected, it created several versions of this cat meowing thing. So I'm going to go to where it's selected here, right click, and then go export clip as files. And the format that it says automatically is probably just fine. 
where desktop audio files sure so now I'm gonna go to my files area and right here at the top I have my smaller cat file yay let's open up the structure free instance that I created and get this out of the way drag that in now I want to play in the keyboard oops hit the record nibble nice low one huh harmony just awesome well I don't need this in here anymore it's already in my file so I'll just delete this it's mainly for editing purposes anyway and now if I was going to create some new MIDI tracks or even these ones I could totally do that I could just hit uh, record so let's close this and do that record in here and play Now, of course, if I play back that awesomeness. As everyone in the world wants for the cat videos. <laughs>